excellent work. It may have been, but Rizzo is still not in town. Have you so little faith in me? My thieves have discovered that Rizzo just installed a brand new safe in the palazzo. Only those with things to hide from prying eyes buy expensive safes. It won't be hidden for long. himself. I do not care if this safe is heavy. I want it near my chambers on the upper floor. If you lack the ingenuity or the stomach for such a task, I shall seek more capable workers and a more deserving recipient for my coin. It's a duty on my day off. All because of some fireworks and a stupid mask. Diary, 10th February. Even Barbarigo himself did not do as much for Venice as I. I know the people love me, but at Carnevale, when I go among them with my mask, I shall hear them speak that love out loud. I think he's going to get a shock. A good mercenario is hard to find these days, eh? <laughs> Employ idiots, and this is what happens. At least it won't happen again. Voices near my position. That new safe on the upper floor looks for minimum. Senor David Joe spares no cost when it comes to his security. Workers had to use a pulley to bring the safe to the top of the glass. of items Rizzo has asked his capo to obtain. From Milanese the tailor. A new velvet tunic in purple with gold brocade and six new camisas. From the jeweler, a coral brooch for spiritual protection. He's going to need more than that. and complicated safe indeed. 
Now how to figure out the combination. A note from Francesco Rizzo. It says, do not touch the paintings. They help me remember. Remember what exactly? Something's not yet right. There's nothing to find! No. We need He's help! He's been killed! I've lost him! I've lost him!
What secrets are you hiding? Rich was corresponding with the French. Conspiring, I should say. He truly knows no shame. It is time for Venice to find out who he really is. Once the contents of these letters become public knowledge, Rizzo will have no choice but to defend his honor. Not that he has any to defend. Um, it is very... Ezio, my little sparrows have been busy chirping word of Rizzo's treason in the streets, and it worked. Rizzo is panicked. He just went into the church and will address the crowd any minute now. Then let me get inside. Stay away from the main entrance. It is swarming with Rizzo's men. There is a door off to the side that is rarely used. I doubt it will be guarded. It offers access to some... interesting vantage points. And once in the church, I will go to work. Remember not to engage Rizzo's guards in open combat. If you do, he will flee. And be cautious as you approach him. You will need to slit his throat where all can see the price of his treachery. Not take him down from the shadows. Best of luck, my friend. Who needs luck when one has skill? Have you heard the news about Francesco Rizzo? No, do you tell? About time someone made a fool of Rizzo. He makes a big enough fool of himself. That's enough! Signore Rizzo is not to be laughed at. Surely God does not smile on Francesco Rizzo. <laughs> and why should he? Hey, no making fun of Signore Rizzo. Antonio 
was right. Richard's guards are everywhere. And the side entrance is far as crowded. Shadows is the assassin's way. I must not draw my weapon too early, climb where anyone can see, nor upset the crowd. Crimes! Ah. 
spectacular fireworks display that I had arranged for Carnival was the crowd is restless. I'm unceremoniously ignited in the daytime. Hundreds of my hard-earned Ducati gone. Who will repay me? No one. Let's see some more of your fireworks. And more. Jewel encrusted mask I had commissioned for Carnival from the finest craftsman has been stolen. Ah, what the devil? What the It is done. Time to go. Just like old times, eh, Ezio? Yes, only maybe now I'm just a little grayer. I trust you have taken the palazzo back. Soon. Now that Rizzo is dead, his men will need to find employment elsewhere. My thieves and I shall have our home back. Thank you. For you, Antonio, it was a pleasure. I've located most of what was stolen from you. But in doing so, I've found that Rizzo was not the only one behind those who attacked Monteregioni. The plot runs deeper than we thought. Nah, nothing is ever so simple for us, is it? <laughs> Again, just like old times. To that end, I found something interesting among the bandits' trove. Take it with you. A friend of ours might be able to make some sense of it. I'm guessing this will need Leonardo's careful eye. Unless you have anything else demanding your attention at the moment? Dolce far niente. Away I go.